Are you tired of manually separating text combined with commas? Copy and pasting just won't cut it when you have multiple records to deal with. But wait, there's a better way. Introducing the text split function. With text split, you can save time and kiss the manual text separation goodbye. In this video, I'll show you how to use the awesome function to split text into columns and rows. And guess what? It even handles different delimiters at the same time, like commas and semicolons in a single record. Let's dive in and revolutionize how you can handle text in Excel. So I'll go through four examples here and using the text split, the most simplest example is how do I split out comma separate values? So here, first, last, email, gender, they're all separated by commas. So I'll just use the text split, text split, press tab. And the text I want to split is this. What is my delimiter? It's going to be that comma, right? The other, the other arguments are, let me go back. The other arguments are optional. They're in square brackets, so I don't need them. Close the parentheses, press enter. You can see it's separated out. Let me drag the fill handle down here and you can see they've, they've all been split. Let's see if I can auto fit this, double click, and that auto fits, and there we split out everything. Now that's the first example. So let's go into my row tab here. So how do we split this into rows? We'll use the uh, third argument here. So I'll do text, split, and then here is my text, comma, I'm not gonna use the column delimiter, so I'm gonna put a comma there, use the row delimiter, and close that in quotes, that comma in quotes, close parentheses, press enter. And you'll notice it only gives me the first one there. And if I try to go here and drag and fill it down, it's gonna have a spill error. So I don't want that, delete that. One option that we can do is we can just transpose this and do it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my values here, control C to copy. And then over here, I will paste transpose and it's gonna transpose it onto that first row. So I transposed it, you can see it goes all the way over to AF here. And now what we can do is we can do our text split. Text split, here's my text here, comma, I don't want a column delimiter, put my comma in quotes, close parentheses, press enter, and now I can just drag the fill handle all the way to AF, and I've got my first name, last name, email, and gender, control, arrow, and all I need to do is, uh, if I don't want these formulas here, control shift right arrow, and control C to copy, alt ESV, just copy it as a value, press enter, and now these are values, and I can delete everything else. Delete this row, and delete this, right click, delete. And now we've got our first, last email engine. I wouldn't really find this too useful, but you know, in cases where you want to do it in rows, this might be a way that you can do it. Let's go to our next example. And this is going to be, what if we have some empty values? So you can see here, there's an empty value here. One, two, and then the third value is empty. Well, there, there's an option in text split. And we use text split normally, if I just do a text split and I have my text here, and let's just make this the column delimiter. I close that press close parentheses, press enter. That looks fine there because they've got my five words here. But if I drag the fill handle down here, you can see in other instances, let's say this one, that third value there is not there, it's blank. What if we just wanted to ignore that? Well, what we need to do is have another, use the other arguments. We have our column delimiter, press comma, row delimiter, press comma. And here's where we're gonna ignore the empty cell. So I'm gonna click ignore. One thing I notice here is there's a comma and space, right? There's a comma and space. So there's no space here. I need to put a space there. Close parentheses, press control, enter to stay in that cell, drag the fill handle down. And now you can see that when there is an empty value separated by the commas, you can see that it has not included that empty cell there. It's just ignored it. And so that's the way we can do it if we want to ignore anything that's empty. Let's go to our date example. So we have a date here. Maybe you want to split it out by month, day, and year. One way we can do it is to use text to columns. Alt AE is the keyboard shortcut. And we can go click next. And it's separated by the delimiter, which is a slash, forward slash, click next. And I'm going to have this output as a date and finish. And what it's going to do is it's clobbered that first column, right? Let's go, this first column is a date. We have to turn that into general. And you can see that it's done that and we've got our numbers there. But if we didn't want it to get overwritten, we can use the text split to do that. Control Z to undo that, Control Z. But what we need to do is we need to wrap another formula in there because this is a number and we wanna turn that number into text. So we're gonna use a function called text parentheses. Here's our value there. 
And how do we want it to be output? We want it to be, want it to be outputted as month, day, year. So it's going to be month slash day, dd, and year. We'll have the four digit year, one, two, three, four, close parentheses, I mean, close uh, quotes, close parentheses. So now the column delimiter is still the slash, so we need to put that in parentheses or quotes and close parentheses, press enter, and you can see it's done that nicely. 5, 5, 20, 20. If I didn't want that 0, 5 there, maybe I just would remove that D. Press control, enter to stay in that cell, drag the fill handle down here, and now you see it's nicely done that. And we can call this a month, date, and then year. And the text split has done that nicely for us. Did you enjoy the text split function? It's one of those cool new features in Excel for Microsoft 365. Now you have another handy tool in your toolbox for splitting text based on delimiters. Exciting stuff. Don't forget to click the banner for more awesome videos like this one. Catch you later.